today is to talk about knots and their use in the theater. Um, there's probably about five or six knots that I use on a regular basis. Uh, and people are always asking me how to tie it or what it's used for or you know, how, how fast is it to, to get done. Um, we'll go over the bowline, the clove hitch, the figure eight, and then a prusik. So uh, really simple knots that everyone can do. Um, I'm starting with a rope that's uh, synthetic. Uh, the line, it's rated to about 3,000 pounds. You never want to use any rope that's not rated. Uh, like the stuff that you can buy at Home Depot is pretty much crap. Um, look into you know, what uh, strengths your ropes are. Anything that you're using rope, uh, to tie things overhead or either tie to other things, you always need to know the breaking strength of. It's very important. Um, so first we'll do the bowline, uh, then we'll head up with the clove hitch, um, then I'll do a figure eight knot which is the simplest knot in the world, and then uh, Prusik. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and go into the, the bowline once again. So here is the dead end of the rope, and then the live end is way out there someplace. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the line, and we're going to make a loop. I'll do that really slow for you. You're going to just twist the rope over the top of your hand. It's also called the overhand loop. You're going to come with the dead end of the rope, you're going to come in through the hole, wrap it around the back of the rope, and come back into your hole. Now you want to make sure you leave a little bit of extra of your dead end in there, and then hold all three and you're going to pull it tight. So it should look like that with your line in the middle here. And then I always take this in and I do another half hitch, pull it back up into the knot just to make sure it's tight off so this way there's no way that that knot will slip out now once this uh, rope has a load on it this is going to get kind of tight um, but the great thing about a bowline is it's easy to take apart so first you undo your half hitch and then you take this little loop on the top of the line and you push it toward the live end of your rope and as you're pushing it toward it'll slowly come undone so it's really easy to undo and redo I'll do that one more time for you guys. So, taking your live end of your rope and twist it overhand. Line's going to come dead end. The line's going to come up through the bottom of the rope, around the back of the line, and back through the hole. Some people have this whole bunny thing that they talk about when they do this. Bunny comes out of the hole, goes around the tree, and comes back in the hole. If you ever see. Uh, backstage handbook there's actually a little uh, cartoon about that in that backstage handbook so pick up that book if you haven't gotten it yet so here's the bowline half hitch easy to do okay so next let's move on to the clove hitch now there's two ways to tie a clove hitch there's one that's at the end of the line and there's one in the middle of the line I'm gonna go through the end of the line first and then I'll show you how to do the end of the line so give me a second I'm gonna grab a board so here's just a simple board. Usually you do this over a pipe um, or anything else that you need to keep uh, stationary. I usually do it over um, lighting trees. I, I tie two clove hitch, I mean, uh, yeah, two clove hitch knots, one at the top and one at the middle of the line. And then I uh, do a simple half hitch over the top of it. So clove hitch, you're gonna wrap it over your unit board, pipe, whatever. You're gonna cross over the top of it. So here's, see that makes a little cross? So I just wrapped it around once. I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom again, but with this line, I'm gonna go through the center of the X. So it looks like that. So I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I just take the, and do another half hitch over the top of it again locking my knot into place. Uh, this is great for raising pipe up. So if I have it at the end of my board, I can actually raise my pipe up like this or board like that. Um, it's also good for tying off a, a pipe to a rope so you have a dead hang situation. Um, now, again, know your breaking strengths of your rope. So uh, I'll go back and I'll retie that for you one more time. 
Okay, so take the dead end of the rope, wrap it around, wrap it around. You're gonna make an X, a little loop going around. Through the middle of the X, you're gonna put your line in through, pull it tight from both directions. That's what it looks like. And then we're gonna do a half hitch just to tie it off. See? So once that's set, as long as it's got pressure pushing down on it, this line's not gonna move. Now, one bad thing about it going this way is it can slide up and down. So no, that's why I always do two of them to lock it into a pipe. All right, now let's do a clove hitch in the middle of a line. So let's say you've got this really long line and then, so someplace in the middle of the line here. So I wanna drop this over the top of a pipe. So I twist once and then I twist back the other direction, this way. Let me try one more time. This way, and then it's this way. Right. There's something wrong here. One, and two. This goes the other way. There we go. I'm gonna put my pipe over the top. Pull it tight. So that's a clove hitch in the middle of the line. I'll do that once again. I, I kind of got it myself mixed up. So I'm sure I got you guys mixed up. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wrap your line like that. And then you're gonna wrap your line the opposite direction. So this way, here, do it one more time. This way and that way. this way and then this pulls tight stop it for a second 